welcome back to my channel display of color I'm Scarlett and we are going to be working on some new fun uh, synthetic art paper called Nara I'm going to be using this for the first time and there's a couple different sizes it comes in it comes in the smaller sheet this is the back I had done some stuff on the front um, it comes in a this size as well as what I'm going to be arting on which is the square so as you can see you know it's a little well, I guess you can't really see are you tired of the media spinning the <laughs> I swore I turned that down I'm sorry <laughs> hey Gina it's this oh that's why I need my this okay again it's not popping up and why is that go to all here? again what is that about so I'm a little nervous, everyone. I don't know if you guys are seeing that I'm live or getting notifications. Ah, <gasps> JJ! Hi, Gina. JJ! If you are, let me know because, unfortunately, I'm not... It's Patreon. not even coming up easily for us. Hey, Petra! Hi, Petra! Hi, Evelyn! So, um... Yeah, hey, on. Evelyn. But I noticed it was taking forever. I don't know if it's because everybody in their mother's home now, having to, you know, YouTube or do online things or Zoom. A lot of schools and things are sucking up bandwidth. So, um. JJ says there. he's clapping his hands. So I think that means yes, he got notification. He's waving. Oh. <laughs> he's waving. Say Gina hi. got a notification. Yeah. Okay, great. I love you, JJ. <laughs> we love you all. <laughs> But, yep, yeah. so, okay, cool, because yesterday when we off live, normally and immediately, like, shows up and posts, and mm -hmm. people were saying that we're here at that live, like, I, I, we're still not seeing it unless you get the notification and click on it, so I was like, that's odd, so I was a little nervous. Evelyn just got um, notified. Yay. Cool. Okay, cool. Some people are getting, like, Bye, JJ. Kara didn't get a notification, but people who came here yesterday got one, mm -hmm. and she didn't get one, so it's just weird. Have a good day at work, JJ. Oh, bye, JJ. Oh, how sweet. You just happened. Patreon uh -huh. got a notification. Yay, Gina Patreon. did not get notification yesterday. Yeah. Okay, see? Interesting. Okay, well, moving on. So let's go back to this. Um, so they make it in round, and I want to try to use this. This is a white round. They make it in the square, this size, black, as well as the right. It's just a, it's basically like Yupo, but different. So, you know, it's tear, it's tear resistant, water resistant, all that jazz. Um, you can use it for alcohol ink painting, for arting, crafting, drawing, um, daily use applications for all that stuff. Um, it's got long life, wait, it actually says on here, long life documents, sketches, <laughs> and many, many more. And they also invite you artists to, and creative geniuses to come share your new applications that you use for this type of paper. Um, so this is, um, probably also, I don't have the thing for this one, Lovely Miss Judy donated, uh, some of these art, uh, papers, this type, to the channel to try out. Um, and we did try arting already on one, and then I want to do some more today, but I also got some new fun, do you mind maybe taking this out of the way so it doesn't get lined? Sure. Thank you. Um. Thank you, babe. We also um, have some new inks from Ranger to try. Their new line of alloy inks, as well as the new all their new inks that they have that are um, new and approved pigments. So uh, basically, they're understanding that a lot of artists love to, um, you know. Uh, do a lot of alcohol ratio to the ink which super dilutes it and then it thins the the pigment and the vibrancy and stuff so they're realizing how many how many people are just paint, straight painting with it and doing like abstract art and all these things and you know they were card makers so they weren't intending that kind of use for it and so now they're since they've seen how many cool things people are trying to do with it they really wanted that pigment to still be that true color so they've improved their line of the ink so they're like a lot more pigmented and deeper so that way you can do like flood your paper with alcohol and add the inks and it stays super vibrant 
Uh, with the alloys, they're metal, you have to, kind of like the mixative, you have to shake it. But the difference is mixatives of their kind float in with the alcohol and um, kind of like blend in with the ink and the paper. Whereas the alloys are like um, the, bra you know, the pinata brass, if you've ever used that. Um, it floats on top when it dries. It actually like, you know, looks like gold leafing, kind of flecking the metallic floats and reflects on the top. But as with the mixatives, you, with the alloys, you still have to use blending solution because blending solution is a resin. And so it allows this to stay onto your paper. So if you're just using alcohol, this will fleck off. It'll rub off the coloring and everything. So you need to use a form of blending solution could be with your alcohol or solely by itself if you're going to use an alloy or a mixative and aka also Blanca White who doesn't like alcohol or likes blending solution. Everyone says so. those new inks look good and Gina says cool love new things. Yay! Yes. I'm sorry what's he saying? Water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And he's not on the thingy that well. Okay, the other new thing we're going to try before we get started. It's called, um, Miss Judy just loaned these to me to try. So, bless you, Miss Judy. They're by Funkadelic. They're called Liquid, Liquid Dicro. So, basically, my wife would be best to explain this. Um, Dicro, um, there's Dicro glass and stuff that she uses. is really fun. Jewelry. So, it's like a really neat metallic um fun like uh as you can see so there's like some weird color the thing i don't like about this is they're all like female names so that doesn't really help you know what the color is by just the female name so that's kind of weird um so it has that you know uh, neat kind of color shifty not color shifty per se but like a fun metallic -y. Uh, blend of color and interference and mica or whatever. So those are all the fun things. Let's get to arting. Because this is black, I did want to try out there's like a little white some things on here. Um, I did want to try out putting I have the plastic cup so I can use my alcohol. Which boop 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 rah, 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 is way over there. But I do some have some in here. But to add a little bit of alcohol with a little bit of ink and then, you know, pipe at it out that way or whatever. But I wanted to put, add white to it. I just did a little white with the ink itself um, and then blend it that way. So I wanted to see how that would work. So let's just play. Let's see. You have Evelyn. I did see Tim do a couple demos too. Oh, I just love that guy. So, fun fact, I used to make um, handmade cards and envelopes like that was my jam. I watercolored them, and in doing so, watching videos, I was like, hmm, alcohol ink. Well, that's cool because it's very similar to watercolor and um, the, mm, what do I have? What are they called? Oh, I'm blanking on it, but it's like a, it's a water soluble, so it's a water. Like, I used to use that, their inks, as watercolor as well um, with my cards. And then I decided to get some, to some alcohol inking. And I was like, ooh, this is fun because it reminded me of watercoloring. So, let's see what colors. Let's do something, like, kind of vibrant so it pops on the black. Let's try to find some things. There's a lot of different blues, glaciers, monsoons. Uh, let's see these colors. Kuna Mojito Green, huh? Sienna, cobalt Blue. Um, boysenberry. Ember. Ooh, that looks yummy. Gumball. That sounds like a super hardcore pink and fiesta. So let's try see what those pinks look like against that. This should help it glow against the black. Rosewood, that's interesting. So, you know, oh, there was supposed to be a red that I was really wondering. I wonder if it's ember. That was like, going to be like bomb. So let's check those out. Moss, Everglades, and Dijon. Look, the Dijon mustard, I guess, is the other colors. And that's it. Of those, just alcohol inks. Oh, 
Rosewood is the one. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. <laughs> Rosewood it is. All right, cool. It's supposed to be like a bomb red. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna shake this up. I, I added a ball to mine. Um, mine I never came with a ball, so I added I added a ball to it. Cause it's like shake vigorously until ball rattles. I'm like, dude, that ball never rattled because it was never in there. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. How's everyone's day? What are y'all doing besides hanging out, having fun with me right now? I super appreciate it. Um, they're staying safe and staying healthy and kind in this kind of crisis situation. I'm just gonna do a little doll up. Um, I was hoping you know, it's like my alcohol um, is in the thingy thing. I'm like, hey. Oh, my bad. Yeah. And I'm going to use a little bit of blending solution, I think, just because, like I said, that white is not a super fan. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. If you could read the chat, be so kind. Stay <laughs> inside cleaning. Oh, good job. I was... Today I bathed our ferrets and um, our tortoise, one of them. Um, I soaked, I was soaking him and cleaning him. Max and I were helping out. She was at work. So her her work today and yesterday have both been going like an hour and a half over when she's supposed to be off type thing. Yeah. So that's part of the reason why we haven't um, like been on sooner that we were anticipating because of that so but I'm getting some quality work done so that's good yes oh yeah I didn't mean anything I just meant so that's why to, for people to understand that's why we're not like super early all right Evelyn says she's been watching road living. Tim do demos yeah yeah I saw all that I saw up to Rosewood is the one. Yep, yep. Uh, went to PT is where I'm at. Oh, okay. Went to PT last That's day. day to day. <gasps> right on, Evelyn. That's a huge thing. So hopefully should even have to use even less of these to keep this, you know, get that strength. We'll see. Just add a few drops. Um, do those pinks and let's do glacier. Let's see what this does. Oop. Evelyn says, "Want to see Funkadelics for sure? For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, and then do you know my little?" <laughs> Gun thing you went because that's why I don't. Oh, I don't know. oh, good. I'm just gonna add a little more. Cool. Don't know where they are. Hmm. Trying to stir. They can get it. Sweet. So it should look more a little bit more pastel -y because I added the white right than the actual color is. So just bear that in mind. Um, for when people are like, wait, what are those colors? They look like a super hot pink. Um, the lighting's for down here. So when I go like this, you guys, you can't really see. So I'm trying to show you in this. But. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty... That was crazy, by the way. That was Fiesta. The gumball. Looks like a gumball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use this until you can get that hooked up. 
Again, I will need it on my right side. If you don't mind getting a paper plate or something, because um, I don't like that, you know, I don't want ink on this that tends to stain on here, remember? Whoa. Sorry. You know what I mean? You want what? Um, I was trying to say that I didn't want, um, I don't know what I was saying now that I'm doing this. <laughs> um, you want me to keep that on for you? Mm hmm Oops. Baby, can you move this out of my, of my audio? Oh my gosh! I was like, why is this drying so fast? Whoopsies! I forgot to... This was on super hot. Oh yeah, so it was crinkly? Uh, yeah, I was melting the paper. And super drying it. Okay, that's not good. So I totally forgot and with my heat gun. Again, the sound's there, so we're... Dang, that sounds so loud. Um, ooh. My bad. I forgot the heat gun, I didn't cool it. And mine's like touchy with the thing, and it's always like funky. But this is vibrant, this is actually like glowing, you guys. It Gina almost says looks they look very nice. Like, um. Oops. Who's wrong? Hi, Anne. Transition one. Hi, Anne. But right? It's like super, super vibrant against the. This, the black. Super cool. And says, wow. Yeah. Woo! It is like happening. Neon. Looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like adding the, the white to it. Mmm. Did you text Miss G? Mm hmm. Okay. Do me a favor and do Kate too. Okay. Okay. Yay! I'm really excited and I like that purple color it naturally made. That was rad. Okay, so let's bust out some of these. Oh, dichroic. These are going to be bomb. I just kind of coagulate at the bottom, I noticed. Okay, so this Fungadelic Liquid Dichro is uh, name Salty? What does that say? Sally, Sadie's S A T Y or S? Yeah, I don't know. I don't Sammy? know. Sally? I have no idea what that name is. Maybe it's Sally? Maybe it's supposed to be now? Hey, Kim. <gasps> Hi, Kim. She says very nice. Gina says fluorescent. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. How do you get the cap off? It's like the childproof. I suck at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. Anne says she's painting right now, so she'll be in and out. Mm -hmm. Can you give me one of this? This. Never mind. Oh, Anne, yay! I'm so glad you're painting with me. La, la, la. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, I don't know what this color is, but we're going to find out. It looks like a purple on my finger. So, where's the this psh, thing? There. Okay. Help me with this. Baby. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Can you hold it up? Like mm -hmm. you? Okay. My thing's broken, so it's just it's literally on or off. There's no um, leveling or whatever. So this is always kind of a real struggle. That's why I don't use it too much because it's a challenge. Mm. So, Kim's at her mom's making heart ornaments right now. <gasps> How fun! Oops, it went there just so you know. Okay. How fun! Put it like so you. That sounds awesome. 
Are you doing it with your mom or you're just at your mom's doing it? Super, super pretty. Ooh, it is. Mm-hmm. So, as I'm seeing this dry, again, I think doing the white, um, sorry, turn the thing off. Doing the white in it, I think, is the best to help it reflect, um, like, that kind of neon. So, let's bust some, some more of this. Kim's using primary elements. With the dichro. Ooh, yeah. Evelyn said so the dichro would look awesome in ornaments. On. We've used it on the ornament and kind of, um, it, it was kind of like you could see mainly the metallic and you really need the dark background. So it wasn't as cool, but it was kind of like, but it looked more, everything I remember looked more gold. Remember? Mm hmm So decorating on the ornaments, but, um, that's all with that. I remember being kind of like, oh, so... But again, I think if we did, like, if you painted it, like, maybe you could spray paint the outside of the ornaments uh, white. Mm, there you go. Or black. And then dr let it dry and then do them. Then they would be bomb. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, but just for the color to pop through. Let's see, I want a little bit green. Is this green, do you think? Or does it just kind of look like it's green in the jar? Looks like a green. Kim says she's just at her mom's work, and the store she works at will be carrying them. So no better time than a present to work on them. Carrying what? The ornaments. Oh! That's great, Kim. That's awesome, yeah. That is so cool. Don't forget, in my description box below, you can get those ornaments that we were discussing. Um, they aren't on sale any longer, so, but the regular price is still posted with the sale price, so just re remember when you do email Judy Sand for that, that, um, that, um, you know, and tell her what you want, just remember it's no longer the sale price. You still have that coupon for the primary elements? I was expecting you to cap it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I always have. Yeah, discount okay. code. Mm -hmm. So I'll post that at the in the description box. Also, Kim, since you're using primary elements, yeah, it has a uh, twenty percent off. Twenty percent off coupon. Yeah, and it helps. It helps back the channel at no cost to you. It gives me a little affiliation. I think is what you call it. I can't mm -hmm. remember affiliation. Yeah. So full show, but yeah, twenty percent off all products on color art products you can get. Um, that was like a lot of white on that. On accident. Full show, full show. Yeah. Can you read that? Kim says she's buffering. Oh. Hi, Jots. Elisa! Hi! Okay, so I like that color. I'm just kind of grabbing colors more so to see, you know, what they're going to... Woo! Woo! That would have sucked. What they're going to do. And I'm just rolling... Versus like shaking because there's no bead in this, which with the metallics I would have put a bead in, but because it likes to coagulate at the bottom, you know. <laughs> this is torture. Push down. I do push down, but it's still torture for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gina asked Elisa if people have stopped calling her. Hmm? Gina, Gina asked Elisa if people have stopped calling her. What do you mean calling her? Uh, apparently they've been blowing her up. 
Ooh, some blowing up calling her for what? Uh, Gina, they don't actually call me. I just caption the calls that people make from the special phones for the hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. And no, so many people out there with nothing better to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is... Magic gold, green copper as light and gold changes. Brilliant reflection. Wait, do they all have writing? It's gold, green, and copper. Okay, so all these on them say flashes gold, green, and copper as light angle changes. Brilliant refraction. Goes down like fused foil, emulating dichroic glass magnificently. Hmm. Add mind blowing highlights to your painting, glass, slick surfaces, nails, and polymer clay. Wow, so you can use them on nails, polymer clay. As well as your artwork or whatever that's cool I love dichroic glass my wife has that and does beautiful artwork with her with her stained glass business it's beautiful it okay. is I love that dichroic well, where's uh oh well we'll just try this for now I'm gonna put something in there. <gasps> Whoopsies! I can imagine it was the blending solution with that. Little drop. Little drop. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna try this one out a little actually. I'm gonna struggle with it. Hey, Sarah! Mike, Mikey, and Brian say hi. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some. Let's get some yellow up in here and see what that looks like. Sorry. Careful, there's stuff in it. Okay. Wasted. So Dijon, or let's use some sun bright yellow from Pinata. Yeah, we'll try those aloes in a moment. <laughs> mm hmm. Claire says, new color? Really? Mm-hmm. Lots of new colors. Ranger's new line. I have all the colors of Ranger's new line and alloy and all the colors of their alloys, which I haven't used in the alloys in the moment. Yeah, I'm just trying to break this up. Which it's doing the white chunky, so I'm like, eh. I don't know my blending. My blend it sit there too long. Um and Funkadelic's Liquid Dichros. So we'll see when it dries more. You can see kind of a reflection of it. Like, it looks like kind of gold, yeah? Mm hmm. So. Oh, yeah. I think it's like. And the light hits. Which is just these parts. Like, that's why it looks kind of goldy there. Hey, Judy. <gasps> Judy. And Clara says, where do you get your Ranger inks? Uh, I pre-ordered them super long ago, forever ago, but you can get them at Joggles. Um, you probably get them way sooner than I did. <laughs> and um, I forget what's called. I think it was like Life Creations, Life One Life Creations. I don't know. It was like for days to get it though with them. I was like, dang. Uh, so it shouldn't be a problem now. They should have gotten their stuff. 
and um, you know, Ranger itself, I'm sure, or anywhere that sells alcohol inks, you know, their new line. The new improved, they know that we're arting the way we're arting where we're putting a lot of alcohol to. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> um, alcohol to ink ratio, and so it wasn't meant for that because they're, you know, card people uh, doing cards and stuff, so they weren't expecting people to paint or do abstract art the way we do and this is not this is kind of sucking <laughs> and um it's a fun mix that it's making right there and um so they made them stronger pigments because they wanted it to be what it was originally meant to be like the strong pigment but when you dilute it with that much alcohol it super dilutes the pigmentation the color and weakens it and breaks it down so they wanted people to be able to paint and art and, and do abstract flood art the way we do um and still have that really rich vibrant color like hardcore clara says yes yeah exactly so and that's really fun that made a really fun little blend right there what is the yeah. thing So, the contact is just kind of driving me okay. Ooh, that thunder. Or unless hopefully that's a trash can. I think it's a trash can. Okay. It's about time. I was getting nervous. I'm like, care. Do the trash people, like, have to stay home? Because that's going to suck. <laughs> We're going to have so much trash. I don't know. But, you know, that's a dangerous dog as a whole. That's just germy naturally, right? Totally. Thank you. I was like, um, <laughs> I love that blue though. This blue we made. What was it, everyone? Glacier when we added water to it. Heck yes. Let's do that again. And let's bust in some little alloy with it. How about that? Yeah. How about them apples? Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. I love that. Like, mm, it's so yummy. Sterling. So I'm gonna put some bling solution because what's sterling? Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, can you read the alloys so they know? These are all the new line of everything new we have. So sterling. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, that green was really vibrant, fun. Gilded. Oops. Where are you? There you are. There. Mm-hmm. Mind. I think it's like a rose gold. That one. There's one that's like a rose gold and one that's like a copper. Come on. It's just pinata, blanco, blanco. So. Then I'm adding just like a drop. Maybe two sometimes if it drops my handshakes. Clara says, oh dear, I'm in trouble. Yes. Statue. My other bomb. Whoa, whoa. You're getting my face there. <laughs> Statue, that sounds you fun. You that one. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Foundry. Thank you, camera, for cooperating. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use some what? Sterling. Sterling. So like the mix it is, remember you got to shake, shake, shake them. And you have to use bling solution because the blending, this specific Ranger specific bling solution, I'm sure maybe all, I don't know. So, but for sure I know this, you know, has a resin. So this will adhere. Um, so it won't rub off and flake off. If you do not use it and use solely alcohol, it will rub off when it dries. It will flake off, it'll rub off, and it'll be no way now. It's like a rainbow of fun. Just so, I think you just answered Joss's question. Are the alloys like their mixatives? No. Um, as I said earlier, the alloys are not at all like the mixatives. The mixatives, yes, need a blending solution too, to make them stay in here, but they don't. They interblend and mix with the alcohol ink, 
Whereas the alloys float like the brass does on pinata, it'll have the flakes and the floating so it looks like gold leaf. Um, that's how these react the alloys. So here we go. You're so smart. Good old Tim. Tim Holtz just watching that one time. Bam. Claire says drool. No. <laughs> she just says Claire's credit card is calling. No. <laughs> Miss Clara, I can bring them over to you whenever we visit after the quarantine of life is done. You know? Um, I would love to add a little bit more to this as I do this, though, too. Get some purple up in here. Up in that here? Fiesta is like bomb. I'm loving these already just a little bit we're using. Super exciting. So I'm going to give a little shout out right now. Um, and the reason, real quick, sorry about your shout yeah. out. The reason I'm adding um, blending solution to all these is because of the Blanco Blanco White does not like alcohol. And so I'm putting a little bit of blending solution just to um, make it uh, workable in each. Just to give it that, you know, so it doesn't... Because it is doing some of that coagulation thing that it's like, I don't want to. But I'm like, yes, you do. But you do for so much. Okay. Shout out to what? what? Evelyn says you can add alloy to colors too. Yeah, I just did. Mm -hmm. The blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So while she's pouring that down, I just want to let everybody know that, uh, you know, I passed my real estate exam and I'm officially working for Keller Williams. And I just posted a couple of my links, my email, and my website. If anybody's interested in buying a home or renting out their home or leasing a home or um, selling their home. Ooh. Okay, nice. so when you put the alloys in it, it literally looks like their pearl mix, their pearls, Ranger's pearls. It literally looks like that when you put it down. Like this straight up looks like celestial, like I just made the color celestial. That, that they does have. look incredible. Um, but here's the key trick again. Ooh, it looks like it's still moving. It's going to, yeah, 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 baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's going to float when it's, you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. I'm like, where is it? Where are you? Or if you're interested in knowing what your neighborhood, homes in your neighborhood are selling for. Uh, if you're just interested in real estate at all. You know what you can't do is um, transition it. And mm -hmm. if you could be so kind and show them close up exactly Bet. how this is looking. Mm, where's my green, I think. Mm. Hook me up. Give me a holla. Mm. Sorry, you can say that all again, maybe, without me interrupting you. I just want to. And just to show you the floaty of it without pre-mixing what it does. Boop. Did you hit the transition button? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm showing where the floaty is. Uh. Boop. Um. Can't get it to show the color. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted to notice the difference between you putting yeah. it directly on the eye. Just, sorry. Um, this is really, really fun. I always add alcohol um, to whatever we activate oh wow pan back a little bit or move this maybe use your hand on that yeah to help show them I put that out of my way <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a mission mm -hmm. this is like not fun to some this is not as fun as I'd like it to be. Oops, sorry. Everyone that I knocked over just now. 
that. It's crazy there's like colors in here that came out that I did not even put like I didn't put any green but just the blending and they come out so pretty like right here this strip strip of red is so beautiful watch that cup please yeah it's so beautiful and you know just from the colors themselves mixing and making really fun colors it's just a crazy color of like explosion of color it is it really is fun. Look at that. Look how hot pink that is. Here, I don't know how you turn this off. I'll switch you. Okay. Sorry, everybody, that we're making you dizzy. We're caught over here at the cord. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't bring the cord up. I was like, Ugh. But look at that. It's like an explosion of color. Look at how hot that is on the... Isn't that crazy? We need it to focus. It's like glowing right there. Are they saying things maybe you're not reading to me? Sorry. Very cool. You can, uh... Greens, oranges. Claire says, nope, not selling. Sorry, Carrie. Love my studio. Carrie, that sounds great, but we'll share with everyone else. Thank you, Clara. Beautiful, Gina says. Evelyn says, it makes it so easily, huh? Yes. It's super, super bomb. It's like crazy yummy. Oh my gosh. I am so obsessed. <gasps> this color is just like, it's mind blowingly vibrant and I'm not, I can't even, it's so bright. It's like really hot on here. Like this was that red that I was like, woo. It literally made every color the rainbow. What is the glow colors? Are those all ranger? Yes. Look at that. That's crazy. That's not Fiesta. I mean, it's not even showing how hot pink it is. It literally looks like hot pink, and I can't get it to the camera here to tell the truth. There. No. Mm -hmm. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Like, you see it's pinker. It's like... Hi, Kate. It literally is like, hi, Miss Kate. Like, so pink. <laughs> It's literally like crazy hot pink. It's madness. It's so awesome madness. I can't even get it to show like how crazy vibrant these colors are. Oh, so almost there. You guys, that's as good as I can get the true color of it. It is so intense. Like this orange is such a neon orange that you can't even... Like, really tell if I go up close. You can't even. Kate says this is amazing. Oh, my gosh. And it's just, like, crazy yummy. So, um, as it's drying, if I show you there. The reflection is that alloy mixed in. So, it's like. Boop -de -boop. Wow. And then, so you can see it there. That's the alloy I put where I just put it on top. Oops, there. Um, and it's like making this like super glow because of the weird dichroic. So like you can see, that's so weird, right? Hold on, this is really backwards, you guys. Have these cameras, I wish you knew how insane it looks, but <laughs> that's crazy. These things are like rad. <gasps> and with the black, like so excited, everyone. And then the Dichro ones, they had like a more like a darker on here by themselves. But like I think when we put it with the white, I think if we put it with the white, I think is what it would made it pop more. Which like I did with the green. But I don't I don't see a reflection on the green per se. And there's still that gold on that purple. Well, I'm not even on it. Sorry. <laughs> On that purple, like, this is the purple. Like, you see that gold? That was the dichro. So, it's got its own, like, pale gold kind of tone, which is pretty, you know? 
if that's what you're into. But those tended to do like that, like a more paler gold, like dingy, old gold coin kind of undertone. But, I mean, some might have these Funkadelics might have like silver or whatever. But if you add the white to it as well, um, doing the background, you know what I mean, like on a black, then it may have, you know, ooh, sorry, everyone. Then it may have a better effect. Um, where are you, maybe? There you are. It may have a better effect on the... Oh, I just transitioned. <laughs> well, you're showing me like the tiniest thing ever. This is the name of the yeah. Lori. So it those... is Funkad... Clara says I'm confused. Is the Funkadelic the name of the collection? Yeah, Funkadelic, I assume, is this tiny little litty bitty writing. Hold on, let me transition again. Gina says so great to hear Scarlett getting so excited. <laughs> Thank you. No, I love it. It's that literally in like the faintest pink says Funkadelic. So I assume that's the brand. The names I'm not a fan of at all. They name them just random female names. And it's like that doesn't tell you what the color is at all. So that's really confusing. Uh, so I'll, they, I would highly suggest them redoing that. Can you get your head out of the shot, baby? So it focuses. Yeah. Um, but they're called Liquid Dichro. And... Um, Dichro meaning two colors. Yeah, yes, baby. That's exactly <laughs> what that means. That's the glass artist they're knowing. Uh, but yes, dichro. That's, yeah, two. So, um, but yep. Yeah. And they have, like, these are all Miss Judy. This is the Funka Dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen 15, 16, 18 of those. And, um... So that's really cool. It does do the float if you get a bunch of alcohol and bust that out. So let me do. Where's the paper? The other papers. You have the round? Yeah, sure. Anything. I don't care. I just want to show, like, if you just busted out the. I want to show you how the, the alloys float. Um. Yeah, just give me one of these. There you go. We'll switch with the white. But seriously, I wish I could, like, you guys could really tell on how vibrant this is. You kind of see there. Ooh, ooh. But it's like neon. It literally looks like, what do you call that when things go on, like, neon, uh, black light? Yes. That's what it looks like when you do a black light. It's like that yellow and, gray. like, you can't even, you can't even handle it. <laughs> <laughs> It's so pretty, and this totally reminds when you blix mix it or alloy in, it totally literally does that. Um, it looks like they're uh, the pearls of Ranger. Everything else that I used was the Rangers, their new line stuff of uh, Tim Holtz Ranger brand. Oh, there goes your water. Oh, thankfully it was just the water. <laughs> so let's do some normal like. Slap some color up on here. Blood this a little bit with that alcohol. Oh, Miss Clara, um, I never have. Each time I keep going, I need to write back, go back and write to you on your, on your channel that one where you're discussing about um, what do you call that? Um, you know, feeling a little guilty and nervous when you do AI and being like, eh, because. <laughs> Like, I made my little hand sanitizer, too, but I was like, but this is our life, and this is our job, and this is our, what we do, we are with this, so I was like, e but I am, and Karen knows, like, I'm like, don't just douse the thingies, like, let's do a little bit of time, I am being more cautious, and, like, conscientious of, as I'm about to, like, flood this whole thing, but I'm just saying, so I feel you, and I love you, just saying, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but we can't stop so. living. Right, and this is, you know, this is my job, is to art and to do some creativity. Beto, are you still there? You think Kate you says, can... do you think we can get a similar effect with the color art with AI? Color art what? What product of color art? Okay. Fluorescent. That's the word. <laughs> Miss Clara. Ding, ding, ding. Clara says, 
Yes, agreed, me too, Mr. Ardon. I'm being more mindful of my supplies. Mm-hmm. But agreed. So let's use that rosewood, Evelyn. Petra oh, says yes. she's here. Good. There you go, Petra. Okay. Just making sure. You never Petra, know if people leave. I Facebook friended you. I hope you'll accept me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this red's going to be rad. Okay, let's get a different ally. Let's get... Mind sounds really fun, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So this is... Let's get all our faces that are like right. totally on this thing. Hold on. Come on. There you go. Bam! Oh, yeah. Mind. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that bottle. Aww. I mean, it has a ball, so if you don't hear, look, it's like real blood. Thank it's you, so Petra. Funny. She accepted me. Oh, sweet. I accept you, too. <laughs> Just the way you are. Oh. So, drop a little color. Boo, yeah. Do a little flitty float. Mm. Love it. Mm. Got a splishy splash. Again, you need to use the blending solution. This is Ranger's actual blending solution, but so it for sure has the resin inside, and it's a binder that will bind it from floating so it won't rub off. Get a little bit of that. So Evelyn asked, where did you get the dichro inks? The dichro. So I believe, and that's Miss Judy can answer because they are not mine, but I believe those um, are from that. Funkadelic um, woman who does a ceramic paper tile. Um, Irby Fumper Sorry, I'm messing up your name. <laughs> Irby Funkadinkle Funkadinkle Funkadinkle. I don't know. She has a funny, fun name to say at the end. If I had it in front of me, I could tell you. But I don't. Let's do some DHL mustard. Why not? Bust a little mustard up in there. Wham. Fishy splash. Ooh, a little, little mojito, a little, a little mojito, mo heat, heat. Let's just do a couple drops and see what that does. Boop. All right. Clara says, Kate, you can mix resin art with alcohol. Just have to seal it and highly recommend doing a resin or clear coat over it when finished as the Michaels will brush off easily, but so pretty. You can mix resin art with... Yeah, that stuff bleeds like crazy. Um, sorry, Kate. I forgot to have Carrie continue to look at that uh, color. She meant the primary elements. Oh. Mm, it's a, those are more water-soluble base. I mean, you could try it, but... Um, they they are they go with the water. The primary elements will blend with the water. You can try it with alcohol ink. I never have. Uh, I use I always done it with the water. But try it and see. But you'll still need to like somehow seal it probably to make it stay. I don't know. The thing is when it dries, That's they tend to need a binder binder. So when it dries, it's like you know I don't know. That's an interesting. It's like a weird. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it'll stay. Because with the water, you know, they will dry up. You have to spray it. You know, seal it. Just like AI or whatever. So, try it. Let me know. <laughs> Clara says all this funk talk had Mike giggling. <laughs> so Her hubby Mike. So funkified. <laughs> Kate says, okay, I get the resin art and primary elements mixed up. Mm. Me too. Resin art. Resin art says resin, which lets you know what's for the resin art. It's in that name. Primary elements, I think basic primary colors, which I think paint. So that would say acrylic. And then their twinkling H2O is the watercolor. So H2O water. That's how I remember. But if you don't remember and I'm here, I don't, don't ever have a problem telling you <laughs> and repeating it. So no worries there. Okay, so let's do a little. Let's do. Ooh, Vinny, what's that? 
Okay. So it's interesting that rose would be. Thanks, Mike. Mike's eggs are always fun to listen to, Scarlett. Eggs? What? Mike says you're always fun to listen to. Uh, thanks, Big Mike. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. What was that color I used? The back far left. Huh? Is that this? Cup, yeah. Cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's lovely. A little dreamy green. so high. I'm like, why is this a struggle? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Some crazy trails on the outside. You know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was so cool. All right. Super fun. Right? Super fun. I forget I can spin this now. Super fun watching you. <laughs> Make you dizzy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gina so gave show. you a smiley face with hearts. Thank you. Okay. So let's show the this with the transition. Do you mind plugging this? this is for me? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. You know what I mean? It doesn't fit. I know. If you, that's why I need you to cap it, is what I'm trying to say. Trying to say. Trying to say. Okay, so as you see, there's some um, flicky flex. Can you see? Everyone says that. Cobalt. Wow. I uh, know. Seriously. And just straight cobalt was like even more, you know. If, what didn't blend the colors or whatever so see it has like that like chunky chunkies focus thank you <laughs> <laughs> but it's got some fun 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 this this is always such a pain in my booty there there we go. That's that right angle. Ooh. Judy says I can't wait to get my new Rangers. I know, Miss Judy. Clara says same. They are coming to you. Those are awesome. They really are. They really are. I am so grateful. Good job, Tim Holtz and Ranger, for making them super pigmented. Jot said I had to step away. It looks good, Scarlett. Oh, Jot. Thank you, thank you. I want to do a little something with a little bit right there. This is mainly, it's not even really going anywhere or trying to art specific anything at all, at all, even for like abstract wise. It's just me wanting to play with color, see where, 
what the colors do together, you know. Patrice this. is beautiful. Cases is beautiful. Oh, well, bless yourselves. <laughs> bless. Look at this red, though. Like, for real. It's like blood blood, you know? Like, I'd be like, did somebody prick their finger? <laughs> Look at you. See the flex? Like, how fun. Mm -hmm. How fun. But you know what I really love to use? It's like little copper pennies. You know, just flecked around the whole edges. You know, coagulates on the big points if you want it to. Rad. Glued to a board and resin and... Yeah, you can glue it and then resin on top if you want. You can leave as is, but definitely use UV archival spray by Krylon, satin, or matte version if you're going to... Do the alcohol inking, I highly suggest because that's the one and only thing that I use. But yeah, they're just rad and they're fun and I love it. So any questions, anyone? Blood oh, blood vamp blood 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 Yes, I just would. Really the same time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Evelyn, yes, that cobalt is the bomb. And then monsoon. I'm, I'm eager to know what monsoon is. Try it. Laguna. Ooh, Laguna sounds lovely. I don't want to try it on this one. But I do want to do a little something with this. Oh, I forget I can turn my little this. Let me go back then. <laughs> I know. Ooh, and then they reactivate so prettily. Okay. Now, I wouldn't put a lot of heat on these. No different than regular Yupo. Like, the heavy Yupo could take more heat. Um, I wouldn't do a ton of heat on these. Uh, they'll melt and warp, and then it, it won't reflatten. Like, some heat, yes, but I tend to, I prefer to do cold versus, like, um, what do you call it? Hot. Yep. Or warm. I'm trying to think. Tempid is the word I was trying to think. But yeah. So were there questions? I'm sorry. No questions yet. Or except for yes, one or mine coming in. Yeah. Oh. Claire wants to know. Oh, Miss Claire, I'm sorry. I didn't get any for you. I'm sorry. I only got some for Miss Judy. I didn't even. But joggles. You I could get share things. some of you, mine if you need. If you want some, Miss Claire, I don't mind giving you some mine. Judy says Joggles usually gets things to her in two to three days. Yeah. And you get a fun toy with Joggles. I wish I... That's the only thing. I wish I went with Joggles because they gave me a fun toy last time. Like, um, I got watercolor stuff and they gave me a, um extra little free gift. And it was like watercolor, like... I think they were like gel sticks, yeah. or like a marker, a crayon, crayon, watercolor crayon, or something like that. It was super funny. Clara says, "No, I didn't think you got some with me. I was just being silly." Mm. Oh, I don't mind sharing. <laughs> okay. The, the literal one here. <laughs> okay, so. Beep, beep, beep. But yeah, if there's no more questions, then I think we're good. Yeah. 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 Well, thank everybody for coming out today yeah. and hanging out with us. It was super fun. And where's the black one? Give us a thumbs up. Where's the black one? Share, like, subscribe. Oh, yes, please. Thumbs up the channel. It really helps. And share and subscribe and all that jazz. And hit me like, up on seriously. Facebook and all. So, I mean, either way, they're fun, fun. This was really fun. You can... I'll do true videos, so don't worry about that. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You'll see them. Um... And any Facebook groups that I'm in, you'll see it as well. These are really, really, really cool. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Remember that song? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>
All right, everyone. Uh, happy arting and God bless. Bye. We love you.